So a very interesting Sysol Sandra entry via Tomb Apisak again confirmed something that had been rather heavily suspected over the past several weeks. Intel is going to be ditching hyperthreading for its i7 parts in the upcoming Coffee Lake processors. Turns out hyperthreading is now going to be a feature limited to the i9 branding, led by the flagship Core i9-9900K, whose existence our writer Usman exclusively revealed about a month ago. There is something very interesting happening with Intel's branding strategy, and we'll get to that in just a bit, but first, let's take a look at the leak. Sysoft Sandra is one of the more reliable benchmark databases out there, and since engineers usually use it for testing, and almost always forget to uncheck that pesky upload to them interwebs option, this allows us to get a reliable and early sneak peek on engineering samples and such beforehand. The Core i7-9700K will have 8 cores and 8 threads, which means that hyperthreading is not supported on this part. The chipset in question will be the Z390 chipset, which is something we have covered a while back as well. The Core i7-9700K scores a cool 157.24 GOPs in the benchmark. But please keep in mind that this is most likely a non-final sample and that performance could improve significantly. Now the most important takeaway from this leak is not the score, but rather the shift in branding strategy. So let's talk about that for a bit. See, Intel is currently executing a strategy that would shift their customer base towards the higher end. Now, depending on how they price this, they have essentially introduced an additional tier into their mainstream segment to further tap into the market. The Core i5 and i7 will represent the stepping stones towards the full-fledged Core i9-9900K. Also, keep in mind that there are design-based reasons for this decision as well. Most applications can usually handle a maximum of 8 threads efficiently. Any more than that is diminishing returns anyway. So for the most cases, the Core i7-9700K should perform similarly to its hyper-threaded counterpart clock for clock. For rendering in multi-threaded optimized work applications, however, the Core i9-9900K will take a clear lead over the 9700K at the same clock speeds. Now, once again, it's too early to decide whether this is a good decision or not, and it will depend entirely on how Intel prices it. If the company plays its cards right, this could be a very powerful tool to expand the market depth and tap into even more customer bases without sacrificing any significant amount of performance. Well, there you have it, sort of. See, we'd love to hear your thoughts on these parts, as typically in the past, we've seen non-hyper-threaded parts perform similarly, if not better, in gaming at times, provided there's enough threads for the particular game. And there's also the pretty heavy rumor regarding these parts being soldered. Well, that could be wishful thinking, but I'm totally down for it. Either way, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you all in the next one.